Plenty of special stuff in the commentary box from one of us. 25. I'll let you guess which one. Dan Dawson joins me. Hi, Chris. Hi, Dan. How's your afternoon been? Yeah, it's been excellent, actually. And a lot of it has been down 25. to these guys here. I've had Gerwin Price on my board a couple of times. I saw the German 25. Giants opening game of the day against Nathan Derry. And they have been excellent every time I've seen them. The last three games, the last 16 quarterfinal and semi-final from Gerwin Price have Outside. been amazing. 105, 106 and 101 averages. 25, so Gabriel's won the ball. Then it hasn't come out of a clear blue sky from Price either. As we said, the performances of the Premier League, the first week where he won his first ever match with a very high average and then a couple of draws. I mean, he was disappointed in his draw against James 100. Wade and really should have beaten Barney the week before. But if you look at the statistics, we have the ability to do that on our Dark Connect site now. 140. Even going into this tournament, Gerwin Price was in the top three of the players in the field. Yeah, and he is right up there in terms of the numbers. And I also think 100. that first round exits or opening game exits for the Players' Championship Finals and the Worlds, that doesn't tell the whole story. He missed a dart to win 3-0 against Nathan Aspinall, who went on to make the semi-finals at the Worlds. And he lost with an average of 105 against Christoph Ratajski in Minehead. So it's not like those early exits are the result of Gerwin Price winning the Grand Slam and then just, just sort of relaxing and not playing well. He's been playing brilliantly for a while. It's only his appearance at the Masters that was a letdown. 58. Yeah, I think it was following the, the news of the fine that he received, the punishment he received for his antics in the Grand Slam final. Clemens just decides to lay up. 129. That resulted in perhaps a little lull. And he kind of, in his first Premier League match, he, he said a couple of legs in, I wasn't sure how to behave. And then all of a sudden he thought, you know what, I'm just going to be myself. And what his self is, is an excellent dart player. Genuinely one of the best in the world right now. Game shot. But Gabriel Clemens, I have said this before, the Germans are coming. And he is very much one of their leading lights. Maximum for price, though. Yeah, the maximizer, Max Hopp, who was beaten in the last 16 this afternoon, is 60. the first to have picked up a title in the PDC, went on to double his tally last year. Clements could have become the second in a Players' Championship final in Milton Keynes. In the early part of the summer last year, when he lost to Gary Anderson, having mismatched darts actually to beat the Flying Scotsman. Well, that's 58. it. Max won two titles. Clemens missed darts for one. Martin Schindler was in the World Youth Championship final against Dimitri. And you've got the likes of Robert Marianovic doing the rounds. The Euro Tour will be starting up soon as well. You'll see plenty more German talent. But I have to say. 60. There was the Euro Tour where Gerwin Price showed us what he was capable of doing last year before he went on and won the Grand Slam. Back to the 10 segment. Game shot. And it is pinned for a 12 dart leg for Gerwin Price. I was keeping an eye on that match. We were around four apiece in this one. And Price was 4 3 down against Dave Chidden. And the next time I look back at the score, he'd won it 7 4. Yeah, well, he rattled off five consecutive legs against Chizzy. And 135. It's not as if Chizzy was playing poorly, it's just that Gerwin found an extra gear and he has got gears. We are regularly seeing him. This year, in the Pro Tour alone, he's averaged more than 104 five times, roughly a quarter of his games. Well, four of his six wins in reaching this final today. I've seen him record an average of over a tonne. Um, one of them wasn't was 99.5. So, if you're feeling generous, give it him. I don't. There, there are plenty of people who are not going to be generous towards Gerwin Price. Oh, yeah, we are in Barnsley. We'll do the Yorkshire thing and round it down, Dan. <laughs> Ninety. One three six was the match-winning checkout in the semi-final for Gerwin against Chizzy, but he might not get a poke at it. Eighty-two. Wouldn't have done had Clemens pinned that double five for a 12 data of his own. 104. Well, the German giant will return to try and take out this minute checkout. Double two will do that. This could be tricky because the first dart is in the way. 
no score. Very tricky indeed. Game shot. But that isn't. And that's something that's relatively new to go in Price's game. He would go through all kinds of contortions mathematically to try and leave himself double top and double 12. And he almost refused to leave double 16. 55. Seems a lot more comfortable in leaving it and going for it. And it also means that when he does leave it, he feels a little bit more confident. It's not like he's left it accidentally or it's a last resort. 96. We're seeing him leave it more often and go for it and hit it. Yeah, one of those. 134. 100 averages came in that last match against Dave Chisnell, who deserves credit for another good run this afternoon. Kudos to, to Danny Noppert. 135. Beaten in the semi-finals by Clements. After hitting a, a nine darter, the second perfect leg of the day, Scott Baker, also producing perfection. Losing count, actually. There's been four in the last 24 hours. Yeah. Two last night. One from Rapid Ricky Evans. As the German giant leaves himself 130. Return 40 would leave him back on double 16. 100. 72. If... Clemens can't take out that 130. Another there. Now the ball. 83. Savagely dipping below the bullseye. Price, double 12. Game 12 shot. data, 13 data, 14 data. Gerwin Price is absolutely motoring at this stage of the final. He is averaging 115. Yeah, it's 97. four legs in, but you can keep it up. Has to do it again for for another four legs. 139. In fact, he would move him one away from the end of the match. Now we're, we're going to go into Danny Noppert territory there. 140. We've extended the format for this year on the Pro Tour. Best of 15 for the final. Danny Noppert might not have been aware that it was best of 13 for the semi-finals. 60. I'm keeping quiet because I managed to get it wrong on the opening weekend. But then so did Peter Wright and Jermaine Watermain as well. 94. It was actually Gabriel Clements in that last four match that informed Danny Noppert. I mean, he could have just walked off and taken the win. What would have happened then? Look at this. Both players on the biggest checkout of the lot. Clements doesn't get himself a dart. 58. Complete the feat. Will Price. 101. No. No, he won't. 101. Well, 112 will do. And he might need to go to keep himself clinging to the coat tails. 92. But it hasn't gone. And his chances could be going and fading fast. Lovely dart leaves double 12. On, and Gerwin Price is just not missing things. It's another 14 data. Now, granted, Gerwin, these last four legs have been won in 53 darts. This is scintillating stuff. 44. But Gabriel Clemens, he's had darts to win the last three. It could be different. But he's being forced to take out checkouts like 112, 130. 100. Yeah, Clemens is an extremely competent dart player. We've seen that in his time in the PDC and before that as well. 93. But when it gets to the crunch, he hasn't managed to get over the line yet in his career. In fact, we can't find a record of any tournament <laughs> that he's ever won. Well, this, this is the weird thing with Gabriel Clemens. He's obviously an incredibly talented player. And we've been bigging him up for a, a couple of years now. He had that run to the final against Gary Anderson last year on the Pro Tour. 60. And missed darts to win it. He made a final in the BDO system. Didn't play BDO for that long, but he made the final of the Luxembourg Open. Was only beaten by Daryl Fitton. Now, there's no other record on any of the databases I'm looking at of Gabriel Clemens winning anything apart from qualifying through Q School. So, I mean, maybe he's won something in a pub in Germany. 26. Maybe he wins the Clemens Household Christmas Darts Tournament. He might not. He might make the final of that every year and lose, for all we know. 97. 
Yeah, came through qualifying school in 2018 at the start of the year. And to be fair to that 95. record of Clements, there was only one player that would win each day in that Q school, so he did win a final. But he doesn't look much like winning this 50. one. Well, largely because Gerwin Price is averaging around about 110. And he's going to get a dart to make it 5-1. But that one is dragged a little bit low. Well, it could all turn here because this would be to break. Looks very inviting. Game shot. Invitation accepted. And it is a break of throw as well. Maybe an 18 dart leg. But it's a break. It's 4-2. And we've seen... These games can change. There is plenty 60. of time for the momentum to swing one way and then the other and perhaps back again. It looked like Dave Chisnell was cruising to his title in the second event of the year, but Glenn Durrant forced a deciding leg. Well, Clement has beaten Nathan Derry, Alan Norris, Ted Evitz, Ross Smith, John Henderson... And not at one hundred and eighty to get to this point. And in contrast to the to the figures that Price has been producing, none of those matches saw him average over a ton. Yeah, he had a couple that were very very close, didn't he? 60. Particularly the ones against Danny Nopper and well, the most recent one, Danny Nopper, and the first one, Nathan Derry. But there were fully there were nearly sixty players with a higher 99. average than Gabriel Clemens over the course of the day. Now, look, that goes to show you that averages do not mean they're only a guide. But by the same token, the guide says that Gerwin Price is right up there with the best players in the world right now. And that is showing in every tournament he's involved in. Double top. Game That's shot. an 11 data for Gerwin Price. He's just been broken. He breaks straight back with a superb 11 data. And once he starts hitting double top, that is when he truly is very, very dangerous. We saw it in the semi-final. He was missing at the start of the game. Then he started hitting it and he did not give Chizzy a sniff. Yeah, and as you mentioned, those, those statistics, those averages are a guide to perhaps how they might play more often. And Clements has averaged 92 for the day before this final. He's averaging exactly 92 in the final. Price, eight points better off for the day. 140. But 18 points better off in the decider. Yeah, at more than 110 going price. If you think that this guy's success is built upon intimidation 96. or shouting and screaming or just making life difficult for his opponents, you're wrong. The fact is, the man plays world-class darts. You don't fluke major titles like he did the Grand Slam. Particularly beating the players that he beat along the way. Yes, he might rub some players up the wrong way. Some fans don't consider him as their favourite. But you have to respect 58. the man's talent. Can he clean this up? <laughs> Well, he, he normally he'd have gone trouble 26. 15 to leave tops, but he thought, I'll play it safe to make sure I leave myself on tops. And he's missed the bullseye by a mile, so he's going to lose another dart anyway. Yeah, and leaving 60, it's becoming a, a bit of a pet hit of many dart players because you can kind of leave yourself obstructed a little bit like that. <laughs> exactly like that. But... Game he shot. tidies it up anyway for another... Leg sorted in five visits or fewer. And this, well, it looks like one-way traffic. 55. The price has become such a household name, such one of the big hitters, world number seven now, a major champion, that it is easy to forget that Gerwin Price only joined the PDC 58. circuit in 2014, having only been playing darts for a couple of years prior. He won back-to-back. -back Players' Championship titles, although not on the same weekend, back in 2016. 16. Went on to reach his first TV final in 2017 at the UK Open. Added a European Tour win last year before winning the Grand Slam of Darts. And his career progression graph just goes up and up and up. And who knows where it could end, because he is kind of a novice. 100. Still. Yeah, and the, you said it there. He's getting better. We have been watching him get better and better. 180. And that is a third 180 for Gerwin Price. 
and Gabriel Clemens, well, the weight looks 84. like it's going to go on. Just looks kind of resigned 85. to it, Gabriel Clemens, doesn't he? He's like, well, what can I do against this? He's averaging nearly 110. We can set this up. 137. Leave himself 32, but Price has not been missing many mid-range finishers. Might be the bolt. It's better than that. Double 13. 68. And when he misses as well, it's only by the tiniest margin. 25 for tops. Double 10. Game well, he's still in this game, Gabriel Clemens, but he is clinging on by his Teutonic fingernails. 58. The locksmith being shut out of this one for large periods by Gerwin Price. 137. And it has felt like it has been coming with the performances that we've seen from Price this 140. year. 140. As we mentioned earlier in the final. And it looks like today is going to be Gerwin's day. Michael Van Gerwin, Dave Chisnell and Glenn Durant, the only men to pick up titles so far this year. Gerwin Price, a couple of legs away from adding his name to that exclusive list. 133. 183. Oh, that's a decent start. Yes. Clemens. Yes. 180 for him. It's his first of this final. Could the tide be turning? 96. Moments ago, Gabriel Clemens looked like he was resigned to his fate. Things might be changing, but this might have to go. Game shot. Well, are things changing because Gabriel Clemens believed he was resigned to his fate? We've heard it spoken by greater experts than you or I, Dan, in the past that sometimes you kind of just think you've lost and relax and all of a sudden you start playing well again 59. then it gets a bit close and it goes again because you think you've got a chance to win well case in point Glenn Durrant against Dave Chisnell in his first PDC final opening weekend 180 a little clench of the fifth maximum in this final yeah Glenn Durrant dead and buried 96. somehow produces one of the shots of the year 170 to stay in Gets to a last leg decider, and then just when you think he might nick it, Chizzy puts in a solid leg, and Glenn is nowhere near him. Yeah, never amount to anything with that kind of attitude. <laughs> 100. He's shown what he can achieve already in the PDC. Go in price. Could be around for a long time to achieve a lot more. Looking. 129. To win his fifth title. In just his fifth year as a professional. 58. And there is no sign that Gerwin Price, if he does claim a fifth title here today, that that is going to be his last because he is playing fabulously. Double 10. Yeah, shot. that's another 12 dart leg for Gerwin Price. It is still 108, the average over 11 legs. If this was a... A Premier League game, it'd be over right now, and Gerwin Price would have thrown, I believe, the highest average of the tournament so far this year. Every single time that Gabriel has witnessed a, a glimmer of light, Price has rushed over to the window and pulled down the blackout blinds. 180. And this appears to be the end 100 the Welsh number one ruthless oh wow. <laughs> well he was looking at the treble seven he's accidentally strayed into the treble 16 59 well, it'll be unlucky 13 for Gabriel Clements who has had a fine run to a second final. 
Genshaw but has run in to a rampant Gerwin Price. Gerwin Price, who deservedly wins Players' Championship 5 here. An average in the final of 110 for the Welshman. That had been coming. And today, the champagne is on the Iceman. Gerwin Price picks up a fifth PDC title. His first since that famous Grand Slam triumph last year. He's been in the hunt the whole way through this Pro Tour season so far. And following wins for Van Gerwen, Chisholm and Durant, Gerwin Price is our latest title winner. And here he is talking to Dan. Congratulations, Gerwin. Look, your fifth PDC title. And you've played some phenomenal stuff today. Big performances against uh, Johnny Clayton and in the final there, an average of almost 110. Yeah, same as last weekend. That, you know, last Sunday against Glenn, I played fantastic and he was a better player and he, I think he averaged 109 to beat me. So the last couple of weeks I've been playing really well, but just falling to the better player sometimes. But today I held it together and yeah, like I said, 109 and a good win. Well, this last sort of three, four weeks, do you think this is the best you've been playing in your career? I've given up my social media, so <laughs> my mind is clear. I don't do none of the rubbish. My, my partner runs my social media. So I, ever since then, I've been playing brilliant, so I advise anyone on social media, just give it up and you'll play well. Look, what's the target for this year? Because at the minute, you must feel like you can achieve anything. The, you've, you've claimed another title here. You're flying high in the Premier League, and you must be really enjoying it. Yeah, I mean, this time, 12 months ago, you know, just everything was the other way around. I was playing rubbish, couldn't win a game on a pro tour. First rounds, I was going out and, like you said, winning just breeds confidence and doing well in the Premier League, doing well on, on these floor events. And today, I think for the last four games, I've played fantastic that. So I think I'm probably a deserving winner today and hopefully I'll play the same again tomorrow. Well, as you say, do you have a target? Because... This year, you obviously wanted to have a better showing in the Premier League. That's already happened. To pick up a title as well, that's two things crossed off the list. Is there something you're particularly looking at and saying, 2019, that's the thing I'm aiming to achieve more than anything? Yeah, obviously, I'd, I like to do well in the Premier League. I just wanted to make Cardiff at the beginning, you know, because <laughs> that's after the cutoff. But I'm going well in there. I'm striving to make the top four. That's, that's my aim now. And just to do well on, on these ranking events as well, because it's tough travelling and going... Premier League week in, week out and then coming to these it's tough but this year seems to be working for me whereas last year it wasn't it certainly is working one of the best players in the world right now playing some of the best darts in the world right now the Welsh number one the Grand Slam champion and your champion today at Players Championship 5 the Iceman will be back tomorrow with Loop Productions showing you Players Championship 6 all the way through from start to finish here at Barnsley Metrodome we are back for another year of PDC Pro